Hello everyone. Uh, I thought what I would do here real quick uh, is a comparison between uh, the standings at the end of the season in the 1970 NFL season replay and the actual standings in the uh, 1970 season. Uh, these are courtesy of Pro Football Reference. So here is your standing uh, looking at the uh, NFC East. Uh, the Cowboys in real life, they went 10-4 and four in the season and here they went 5-8-1. and one. Uh, the Giants were 9-5. and five. Well, we had a 9-5 and five record with the Giants. The Cardinals were 8-5-1 and one in the uh, replay, 10-4. and four. Redskins were 6-8. and eight. Uh, Washington ends up 7-7 seven, seven in the replay. And the Eagles were 3-10-1. And, one, and uh, they ended up 2-12. Uh, and 12. So, uh, you know, the anomaly there with, with the Cowboys underperforming. So, you know, looking at the uh, Cowboys here, uh, points for 299, and points against were uh, 221. So, really, they their offense underperformed, uh, defense performed as as expected. Looking at the Cardinals, uh, they put up a lot of points. So let's look at the Cardinals, uh, 325, uh, 302. And then uh, the uh, points allowed, uh, 228. Uh, the Cardinals uh, played a, a lot better on defense. They were 199. New York, 301, 321 for them here. Uh, and uh, points allowed, 270. Uh, their defense played uh, much better here in the replay. And looking at Philly, 241 and uh, 332. So they, they underperformed in, uh, well, they underperformed in offense and they uh, performed better in defense in the replay. Looking at the NFC Central, Vikings, uh, they ended up with a 12-2 uh, and two record, 11-3. Uh, and three In the uh, replay. Detroit uh, was 10 and four. Uh, they ended up nine and five, so pretty close there for both of those. Uh, the Packers, six and eight, uh, they, they went four and ten. And Chicago, uh, they were six and eight. Uh, they went five and nine. So uh, not bad. Uh, you can look at the uh, numbers here, uh, Minnesota. Uh, they underperformed uh, on offense uh, in uh, real life, uh, 335 points for, and they were 236 in the uh, replay. Uh, points allowed 143, and they were uh, 131. So they actually were much better on defense uh, in the replay. Detroit, uh, they were 347, underperformed uh, at 245. And then uh, 202 for points allowed. They were 177, so they played a better defense. Offense struggled. I mean, both Bill Munson and, and Greg Landry just couldn't get anything going through the air. Um, they were they were pretty much a ground-based uh, team. Chicago's numbers, uh, 256, uh, 182, so underperformed uh, against real life. Uh Points allowed 261, so they were pretty close uh, at 259. So they played a uh, good, uh, well, actually two uh, real life defense, but uh, their offense just not not there. And then Green Bay, uh, 196, 158. So they they really underperformed uh, there on defense. Uh, 293 and 243 so they they underperformed there as well on defense which would uh, explain that record then again you're going to get you know with with any of these simulations you're going to get varying variations just because uh you know if it was a 100 percent ac you know accurate sim of the season well you know we'd have the same standings and uh you know it, it wouldn't be as fun so obviously things like injuries uh, you know, maybe some of these teams uh, got down 
early in the game, so they had to pass more than uh, run. Uh, just any number of things can kind of go into this to to affect these numbers. But you know, they're they're pretty close. The numbers are pretty close to real life in um, in many respects. Um, looking at like for instance Dallas five eight and one, and they were uh, ten and four, but they they just could not get uh, their offense squared away in this uh, replay. Uh, both quarterbacks struggled. They struggled with turnovers. Uh, they, they were they're literally 100 points uh, below what they scored in real life. And that was just because of the fact that they, they just could not uh, just get any momentum going on offense. And again, with Detroit, uh, Munson, and Landry, uh, they they did not have good seasons passing the ball, so they were essentially um, between uh, Alti Taylor and Mel Favre. They were running the ball uh, quite a lot in there. Looking at the West, uh, the Niners uh, they had a ten and three and one record. Uh, Niners here were seven and seven. Kind of look at their numbers. Uh, Niners put up uh, three hundred and fifty two points. Uh, they were 100 under, and their defense uh, only allowed 267. So their defense actually played a little bit better here in the uh, in the replay. Los Angeles was 9-4-1, uh, 10-3-1 here uh, with the replay close. Uh, looking at their points, uh, the Rams were 325 in scoring. Only 223 here. And then uh, their defense allowed, uh, in real life, uh, 202 points. Only uh, 150 here. So they're, the fearsome foursome were just uh, crazy good uh, in, in the replay. Uh, the Purple People Eaters and the uh, Rams fearsome foursome really uh, played well. Atlanta, 4-8-2. Atlanta was 6-6-2. Six, six Looking at the points, uh, 206 is what they scored. 208 is what they scored in the replay. Uh, their defense uh, gave up 261. Their defense uh, played lights out, 176. So that will uh, change things up. So they played, uh, you know, at, conversely. Dallas played, uh, just could not get anything going uh, and any any momentum or any traction on their offense. And uh, Atlanta, well, their their defense uh, played above their heads in uh, the replay. Looking uh, at last at New Orleans, New Orleans, they were 2-11-1, 1-13. Uh, they uh, scored 172 points in this game. They un underachieved 159 and then they gave up uh, 347 points, 359, so pretty close to what they did in the actual 1970 season. So you can see these numbers in many cases are very, very close. Some teams uh, overperformed a little bit on offense, um, some not, and that uh, could account for uh, you know a few wins and losses that uh, deviate from real life. But still very close. Looking at the AFC, Baltimore was 11-2-1, uh, 11-3. And, and Close. Um, they scored 321 points. Uh, they, uh, in the replay, 285, so little, little less. But look at the big difference here. Baltimore's defense uh, was uh, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, their defense in real life gave up uh, 234 points, and they only gave up 141 in the replay. A, an incredibly stingy defense, and just looking here, uh, they were 7-0 at home. I uh, didn't notice that before, but they did not lose a home game uh, at all in the season. I want to go up here to the uh, NFC and see if we have a similar number. Yep, St. Louis, uh, they didn't lose a home game. Uh, Dolphins, they were in second place again, uh, second place in the uh, replay. They had a 10-4 record, 10-4 record here. Uh, 
they scored 297 points, 290. Uh, they uh, allowed 228 in real life, 222. So that is um, almost dead on uh, performance to real life right there. Uh, the Jets were 4-10 four, uh, four and ten in this game. They were 8-5-1. and one. Uh, Their uh, offense scored 255 points, uh, 224. So they underperformed on uh, offense. But boy, do they perform well on defense. Uh, in real life, they gave up uh, 286 yards, only 182 yards uh, allowed for uh, the New York defense. So that is the difference there in that record. Is they they really overperformed on defense, clamped down on teams, and, and gave their offense uh, some opportunities to grab some wins in the replay that otherwise they wouldn't have got in real life. The Bills, 3-10-1, and one, were 5-8-1. and one. Uh, They uh, scored uh, 204 points, really underperformed on offense, 167 in the replay. Uh, their points allowed 337. Uh, their defense is a little bit better at 226. So again, um, you know, just underperformance here, but their defense picked them up and, and gave them uh, two more wins that they other otherwise wouldn't have had. And then lastly, the uh, Patriots, uh, two and 12, one and 13 in the replay. They uh, scored 149 points in this game. They were 165, so a little bit of overperformance there. Their defense gave up uh, 361, uh, 369 in the replay. And if you notice, uh, the game got it right in the uh, in the order at the end of the day. Baltimore, Miami, New York, Buffalo, Boston. Baltimore, Miami, New York, Buffalo, Boston. So they, they uh, a few wins here and there, a few losses here and there. Uh, but again, it, it turned out, uh, you know, really to match and mirror uh, performance there. Looking at the Central Division, uh, you had the Bengals with an 8-6 and six record that won the Central. Cincinnati was 7-7. Seven and seven. Uh, points uh, scored, 312. Uh, they were uh, 276, so a, a little bit below. Uh, their defense allowed uh, 255, and their defense uh, performed a little bit better. So that's that's not too bad. But it did cost them uh, essentially a win. Otherwise, they would have the identical record. Uh, the Cleveland Browns were seven and seven. Cleveland here was three nine and two. But the, with the Browns, uh, they uh, scored uh, two eighty six. Really underperformed, uh, one eighty one. And then uh, on defense, uh, two fifty six, and they were real close there, two fifty nine. The Steelers five and nine. Steelers here were eight, four, and two. Steelers uh, scored two hundred and ten points, two hundred fifteen points here. Uh, their defense allowed two seventy two. Uh, they only allowed one hundred and eighty three here in the replay. So their defense really showed up and played well in the replay. And there's your difference. Defense kept them in games. And then lastly, the Houston Oilers, 3-10-1 in real life, 3-10-1 in the replay. Uh, looking at the, with the scoring here, uh, 217, 179. So they uh, performed uh, better in the uh, replay on offense. On defense, uh, they gave up 352 points, 271. So they performed a little bit better in, on uh, defense as well, but uh, came up with the same record. Uh, there. Going to the West. Oakland 8 4 and 2. Oakland in the replay 9 3 and 2. They uh, scored 300 points, 278, so pretty close. 
uh, gave up uh, 293 in real life, 271 in the replay. So again, very close. So um, again, that that's that's pretty close for a replay. Uh, the Chiefs were seven five and two. In this game, they were nine four and one. Uh, they scored uh, 272, uh, 261, and they allowed 244. And in the game here, they uh, allowed only uh, 122. So they, again, overperformed on defense, and uh, that probably accounted for some additional wins uh, there for them. The San Diego Chargers uh, were 5, 6, and 3 in 1970 uh in the uh replay they were five and nine so they didn't get any ties and those uh those additional games uh basically where they tied turned into losses so not too far off again uh 282 uh was what they uh scored 228 so they underperformed on offense 278 uh, were points allowed, uh, 280. So they were pretty much uh, right there on defense. So their offense underperformed, and that uh, was the difference on those three ties in real life. They just weren't scoring as much in the replay. And this is an interesting one. Uh, the Broncos were 5-8-1 in real life. They ended up 9-3-2 in a tie with Oakland uh, in the West. They scored uh, 500, uh, no, sorry, 253 points. They were 227, so slightly off there. But here's the, the clincher, the defense. Uh, the defense in 1970, in real life, they allowed 264 points. And Denver's defense in the, in the replay, uh, 155. So that defense was much, much better in the replay or they played much better in the replay. So what I, I looking at this and again, um, you can see in, in a lot of ways with a few anomalies um, that it was pretty close, but in this replay, um, you saw a lot better overall defensive play in uh in the replay and it was just enough to uh, move a few games here and there to make a, a difference uh, especially with a team like denver but also too you had um teams that underperformed green bay as an example they uh from a defensive standpoint looking back at green bay um they underperformed in both realms, so that uh, resulted in a much worse record. But again, you just beating up on Dallas. You know, in this game, they just could not get the offense going. They had so many drives that were killed by interceptions or fumbles that were lost and um, left the defense on the field for a long time. They got tired. And uh, they ended up losing games. Uh, they ended up with a three-game win streak at the end. Uh, so I think you're seeing the, uh, the real Cowboys in the last three games. Uh, but that was too little too late. But uh, you, just, you can just look here and see uh, where pro strategy football lines up. It's pretty darn close to real life. I mean, none of these are like crazy... Uh, uh, win-loss records or anything like that. They're within the realm of reality, especially in, you know in the '70s, where um, you know not many of the offenses were wide open. They were primarily run offenses um, or balanced, and uh, lots of really tough defenses. You had the Doomsday Defense. And Dallas, the Purple People Eaters in Minnesota, um, Fearsome Foursome, uh, Baltimore's defense was really good that uh, that year, a season group, Miami's no-name defense, uh, Pittsburgh, the uh, Steel Curtain, this is kind of the beginning of the Steel Curtain where they're putting that group together. 
Oakland always had a good defense. Denver was also known to have, be a good defensive team at that time. They just couldn't score. And uh, in, in this game, they did score below what they uh, actually scored in 70. So you just see uh, Kansas City had a, a great year defensively. But um, just scored less. But not like a, a, like a lot less. It was it was pretty close. So you're looking at uh, Kansas City 272. Uh, so they were only off by 11, 11 points here on uh, on offense, but it was enough to uh, affect that outcome, but not within the realm of reality there. So uh, there's your uh, comparison. looking at the divisional playoffs so uh your divisional playoffs in real life you had baltimore at cincinnati today we have in our playoffs we have baltimore uh hosting denver uh you have uh the cowboys in detroit uh detroit's playing la you have the oakland raiders and the miami dolphins we don't have that matchup uh we have the raiders and the steelers so the Steelers get into the playoffs earlier than expected. And then we have uh, San Francisco and Minnesota, which uh, San Francisco didn't make it. So we get St. Louis uh, and Minnesota. So we have one, two, three, four. So um, we have four of the teams that uh, in 1970 made it into the divisionals that also made it into the divisionals in the replay. And I, and I would have to say, the, um, with the exception of the, the Lions, I would say all those are probably favored to win their divisional playoff games. Detroit, my concern with them, if you, if you followed the replays, they are a almost uh, just heavy run uh, oriented offense, which against that uh, Rams defense, and again looking at uh, at the standings, the Rams have an incredibly good defense. Hundred only 150 points allowed, and uh, that's just going to be tough on that uh, Lions running game. My concern with Pittsburgh is the kicking game. Gene Mingo missing a lot of field goals during the uh, the year, even some chip shots. Um, George Bland is much better. Um, I think offensively, uh, Oakland is a lot more consistent than Pittsburgh. Well, we don't know what game we're going to get out of Terry Bradshaw uh, at this point in his career. So again... Um, you could see Pittsburgh as, um, you know, having some holes that over the next two years they're going to shore up and then just become that powerhouse, but they're not quite there yet. Oakland is a seasoned uh, winning playoff team coming out of the AFL. So I'm, ex I'm expecting that we will see uh, the teams uh, here at home are going to be the uh, victors in the uh, divisionals. And uh, we will play that uh, week, uh, that divisional playoffs. We will play that in the next video. But just, again, um, just some fun to look at things, uh, you know, in real life versus uh, the replay and how things kind of ended up. I think, you know, again, I think uh, it, from a uh, standings point, the, the standings with, with, a, with a few exceptions, you, could, you can say, yeah, that's kind of within the realm of reality. And in Dallas, when they're scoring literally 100 points less in, a, in the season than they did in real life, that's, that's obviously going to affect that, that number. But their defense uh, played real close to real life. Uh, only a difference of, looking at that, 
I would say that's a difference of uh, seven. So only seven point difference there. So that is pretty darn close. Oh, actually, yeah. The, uh... So that will uh, wrap up this video. Uh, tell me your thoughts on uh, who you think are going to be the win winners in the uh, divisionals. Do you agree with my assessment of, of the teams and their chances? Um, let me know in the comments. Please like and share. It's been a blast going through the 1970 season. It is, uh, this, this game is so much fun. So, uh, hats off to, uh, carry, uh, bats for continuing to make this, uh, a better game each and every year. And, uh, it, it, it's, it's fun to relive these old seasons. So the mod community has done a fantastic job as well, uh, from graphics to, uh, ratings uh, to rosters and uh, everything in between, even getting the uh, skin tones correct uh, this year uh, with uh, the 2013 or the 2023 version. So a lot of work by the mod community went in to uh, put this stuff together. So uh, big uh, round of applause for for the mod community and for Carrie. And uh, with that. We will uh, sign off and then uh, we'll see you back for the division playoffs.